everyone, it's Miss Berlanga. In this video, we are going to continue with the lab skills prep, and we are going to be moving on to station two. So we are gonna be talking about how to measure liquid volume. So station two. So on your digital version of this handout, make sure that you go over here to page two and look at the instructions. So again, we are gonna be going through this as if you were here in class with us. All right, so the first step says to transfer liquid from the beaker into the graduated cylinder until the graduated cylinder is roughly one third full. So here we look at our materials. We have a graduated cylinder and we have a beaker full of liquid. And this liquid is just water with a little bit of coloring and solution in it so that it is easier to read the liquid volume. All right, so according to our instructions, we wanna fill this bad boy up about a third of the way full. The exact amount doesn't matter. We are just pouring some liquid in here so that we can get some practice measuring that liquid volume. So I'm gonna pour some liquid in here up top, roughly up to one third, doesn't matter, exact amount. And here we have it. So what I like to do whenever I am measuring volume in a graduated cylinder is first notice that there is a little bit of a curve. First notice that there is a little bit of a curve in the liquid here. So you can see it kind of curves and dips slightly downward. This is what is called the meniscus. So in your lab diagram, you will see a graduated cylinder. And we can see if we look at the close-up that the liquid curves a little bit to the bottom because it's clinging to the sides of the glass on either side, all the way around. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we take a reading from the bottom of the meniscus, not from the top. Otherwise, we will underestimate the amount of liquid in the graduated cylinder. So to do that, first thing I like to do is find the number that the liquid is closest to. So we wanna get down here eye level with the graduated cylinder, we wanna kinda of squat down. You can't see me right now, but believe me, oh, my hamstrings, my quads, they're feeling this. I'm totally in a squat position. So we look right here, it looks like it could be um, really close to either 20 or 15, but we'll go with 15. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna figure out how much each of these little lines are worth and then we're gonna add that to 15. We could take the opposite um, technique method and we could subtract from 20, but here we're gonna start at 15 and we're gonna add to it. So looking down here, measuring again from the bottom of our meniscus, we can look and see that we are one, two, three, four lines above the 15. And so what that means is that we're gonna to have to figure out how much each of these lines is worth. So if we look here between 20 and 25, we can see we can count nine lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines, and then additional 10th space to 25. So that means we are taking these 10, excuse me, these five milliliters, and we're dividing it into 10 chunks, right? So five divided by 10, and that tells us how many milliliters each of these lines represents. So go ahead and take a second to type in five divided by 10 into your calculator to see how much each of these lines represents. All right, so you should have gotten 0 0.5. So whether we're counting down from 20 or up from 15, we are going to either add or subtract 0.5 every time we go up a line from the number that we started with. So here we started at 15, so this is 15.5, 16, 16.5, 17. So we said that the bottom of the curve was four lines above 15. Four times 0 0.5 is two, so 15 plus two is 17. And it's the same amount that we got if all we did was just counted by 0.5 from 15. So again, 15, 15.5, 16, 16.5, 17. All right, so that is the first liquid measurement. You can go ahead and write that down on 
your table right here. And then I'm going to give you a different amount of liquid and it's going to be your job to read it from the video. All right, and this time I'm going to scooch my camera a little bit closer. Forgive the squeaky noises. All right. So go ahead and see if you can read the amount of liquid that's in this graduated cylinder. So remember, find the closest number and count the number of lines below or above that. And make sure you are reading from the meniscus. All right, and that's it for the video. Make sure that you take some time to answer those questions that are at the bottom. So it's just one question for station two. And I'll see you in the next video, the last one for station three, which is reading temperature.